the question number four talks about so always remember to draw the diagram neatly a cubical block that means cube of side seven surmounted surmounted means on the top okay by a hemisphere so let me just draw a diagram for this thing first of all so there is a cube with a hemispherical on the top that means it is going to be some kind of circle like this yes and like this is this thing clear yes yes so this is the best we can do on a 2d figure no so what is the greatest diameter of the hemisphere so basically if i do a top view if i go from the top view how will it look like it will be a square and, and a the circle the circle yes or no the circle will yes. be touching all the four uh, sides. Right now, it is not touching, but it will be touching. Making sense? Yes. So what is the maximum diameter possible? I think now it is easy. Seven. It seven is the centimeter. maximum diameter possible. So seven. So first answer is clear. Seven. Yes. What is the greatest diameter the hemisphere can have? They will not ask this question in the board exam. If they are going to ask this question, that will be for one mark only. Okay. Yes. Let me ask you a different question with respect to this. If there is a rectangle with seven by three, what is the greatest diameter possible? If I draw a circle inside the rectangle. Need what do you think? Seven there is a rectangle yeah. with length seven, breadth three. What is the maximum diameter of the circle possible? So seven. Okay. Kanal? I guess three. And sonnet? Three. Okay. Neil, the thing is you haven't even drawn this rectangle. If I were you, I would have drawn the rectangle. This is seven. This is three. So maximum circle which is possible is this. Okay. And this is three only. It is not possible to draw a circle inside the rectangle in any other way. These are logical questions. There is no math involved in it. Is it clear? Yes. So please be mindful while doing these kind of questions. They can definitely ask these kind of questions. And uh, they purposefully don't draw the figure. If I draw the figure, you will understand. Isn't it? Anyway, let us come back to the question, our original question. Find the surface area of the solid. They will always call, say this is a solid. Solid means 3D figure. Okay. And surface area means what kind of surface area? Total or curved? Total. Total. Because they are actually saying we need to cover this part. That's my first. The bottom one. The front one. The side one, okay, the back one, and the top. 
is that thing clear yes yeah. the five parts are easy isn't it these five parts are easy to calculate there is no difficulty yeah. so total yes. surface area of the solid is Five times uh, square. Yes. Remember, always explain your working before answering anything. The way I'm explaining, so that at least you will get marks for understanding. Maybe your some part is incorrect, but you will get correct marks for writing the statement. Total surface area of the solid equals to five times square plus. Now look at the top view. What are you going to do? You are going to paint this portion. What is this? What is this? Can you tell me? Sure. Sorry, can you repeat? Hemisphere. Hemisphere. What part of hemisphere? No. Curve surface area. Oh, it's curved. Yeah, it is curved. Because we are not going to paint the inner part. Because it is connected to the bottom. Do you understand this part? Yes. This particular sir. portion is connected to the bottom. So this is curve surface area of hemisphere. Okay. Secondly, I have to paint one more thing. What is that? This portion. Because that is also visible. Is it making sense? Mm. Yes. yes. Now, how do I find this part? Tell me. A square minus circle. Very good. So this particular part is area of square minus area of circle. So we will add that part. Plus area of square minus area of circle. Now, try to understand why I'm writing in this way. First of all, take a screenshot of this thing so that I can move down. If you are done, just let me know. I'm giving you two, three seconds. You're done. Okay. Later on, copy it neatly. Now, over here, five into area of square plus area of square. How many? So, 6 into area of square, which is hmm. side square. Understood? Yes. Now, what is the formula for curve surface area of hemisphere? Neil, what do you think? What is the formula for curve surface area of hemisphere? So, this is uh, like 2 pi r square. 2 pi r square. And minus area of circle that is pi r square. So I can subtract this thing directly. Got it? That's why I was saying before applying any formula to the question, simplify. So 6 into side square plus pi r square. This is the uh, formula for this particular question. Mm -hmm. Same thing. You will do it in grade 11 or 12 if you take math. These will become functions. Understood? Yes. Now, why it will become function? Because now I can change the side and I can find out the answer directly. Those are called functions. We will study it later on if you take math. So 6 into 7 into 7 plus 22 by 7 
radius is what? What is the value of radius? 3.5. Don't take 3.5. 7 upon 7 by 2. Avoid decimals. Unless and it is very much required. Why? Because it will get cancelled. Understood? Yes. Now, always remember division by 2 is very easy. So, 6 into 49, what is the answer? If you tell me. 6 into 49, 294. 294. Plus 77 upon 2. So, 77 divided by 2 is 38.5. Plus two ninety four. So my answer is three three two point five. Always mention the unit. What was the unit in this question? Centimeter. Yes. Centimeter. Yes. Just check your answer from the back. 